and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the kingdom rat trap <laughs> so yeah i've been waiting for this one for a long time i'm a huge fan of beast wars i'm uh yeah a little bit based on it <laughs> it's one of my favorite series so yeah couldn't wait and uh can't wait for the other ones <laughs> so we have the legend size uh, rat trap right here. Very small, very uh, interesting figure. Transformation is quite uh, interesting. Uh, we have right here in the back uh, the rat trap figure in a robot mode in uh, rat mode or mouse mode. So <laughs> yeah, we can see some storage right here on the side of the the rat, but uh, doesn't look too good. <laughs> I was wondering what the hell was that first, and I noticed always oh, the gun. All right. So, yeah, you have the art right here of a uh, rat that has green eyes and doesn't look anything like <laughs> a rat trap a rat right here. <laughs> yeah, anyway, we still have the thing that we have to tear down. I know we can cut it, but then you have like the whole plastic thing right here. It doesn't look good either, so whatever. So we have the figure right here. We have legal stuff that we don't care much. We have the, the cardboard thingy on front. Core class. So yeah, core. It's the new name for legends. <laughs> core class. So yeah, you have instructions right here. They are folded so many times now. And yeah, nice green and black. We have uh, how many steps did it say? Like 18 steps transformation. Oh, okay, he's more uh, in uh, more intricate than a vertebrae. So yeah. So instructions right here. Not much to them really. Uh, the transformation is rather easy. We do have storage in the back right here. And yeah, storage for the front, uh, the, the, the rack here. So pretty much it. Like I said, uh, the transformation is easy, but still pretty complex at the same time. So I'm really, yeah, I'm really glad about it. And let's try and take the gun out without breaking my nails. Jesus Christ. Wow, that... That's really anti-theft. So yeah, gun, solid plastic. I thought it was uh, soft uh, rubber, but I'm uh, really glad about this. So yeah, hard plastic. Pistol does look like it's an uh, original gun. So yeah, not much to it. We do have the peg right here to store uh, in uh, rat mode or in his backpack. And we have the figure right here. Let's take it out. So yeah, really cool figure. I love Rat Trap in the show. Not my favorite, but still pretty cool. I love his uh, <laughs> personality and thing. So yeah, we have the top of his head. Kind of hard to see because of the uh, reflecting light. But we, we do have this sort of a brain looking texture on the, on the top of the head. Do have nice eyes and the two uh, crow um, two teeth. So yeah. I'm not a fan of the look of the rat uh, head right here. Kind of looks weird, but okay. We do have the, um, uh, what was it, Primal, uh, the uh, faction right here on both sides, both arms. Pretty cool. Uh, backpack, fairly nice. Uh, do have the, 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 le the legs right here of the mouse that sticks out, and we cannot articulate it. That's really the, the bummer. I would have loved, like, we just, you know, rotate them down I guess but uh, yeah we can't we do have this hole right here so this is the peg for the gun so you need to slide it in and voila this is the storage for the gun and the backpack uh, the tail is um, it's not rubber so it's plastic so be mindful of that pretty cool I, I, I don't like the rubber so I was really thinking everything would be rubber on it but no everything is plastic there's no rubber on it so that's a really nice surprise compared to uh, Vertebrae that has tons of uh, rubber. So, yeah, real cool figure. Uh, head is uh, on the swivel, can only rotate left and right. Doesn't uh, do up and down, it's kind of disappointing. Arms, the ball joints are really weird because the ball joints are facing forward. So you can move the arms like this, but won't go back really because the joint is right here and the joint only goes down like this it's kind of weird but it works because you can still you know rotate the arms so that's pretty cool uh, we do have a ball joint at the elbow so pretty cool nothing at the wrist and yeah uh, nothing at the waist the legs does the split can move forward 
about like this but then you have to curve it up uh, to make it go further because the legs sort of uh, bump on the, the skirt here I guess so it doesn't go further than that unless you split it like this and move it like this so yeah backward backpack hinders pretty much everything so it goes back like this pretty cool though uh, we do have the knee joint that goes uh, 90 degrees a little bit more than 90 degrees but we have a double joint here this is for transformation but I guess you can use it as you know double jointed knee so it's not the greatest looking one but it works so yeah and we have the foot that is on a ball joint so you can move like this rotate no problem go side to side um, really am a fan of that toe in the back right here I understand it's for stability but it really looks bad. <laughs> but yeah, he is very stable. I mean, you just place it like here and it'll all be standing up. So yeah, we can give him his gun. And plug it in, voila. Move the camera a little bit down. And we can do maybe a comparison with the other ones. So I've got the uh, transform element right here, rat trap. So I really love this figure and you can see both sides are really damn good I mean they they are pretty scaling scaling pretty damn nice each, uh, next to each other I mean sure this is third party and looks way more accurate with the head right here but I, I mean size wise you gotta hand it to Azero I mean pretty good looking I mean sure head is better articulation is better and everything but uh, still pretty damn good very impressive uh, we also have the uh, original one, the generation classic rat trap, I guess. It's been a while, so yeah, really cool. Uh, again, much different, but yeah, still looking the same a lot. So, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, lots of backpack on this one. This one cleans up fairly nicer, but yeah, color is pretty good, mold is pretty good. <laughs> Uh, what else can I compare it to? I still, well, I, got, I do have vertebrae right here, vertebrae, which is the uh, same line as him. I don't have Optimus, like I said, uh, on the uh, vertebrae, uh, vertebrae video. I'm not a fan of the Optimus one, so I didn't take it. I only took these two. Because, uh, yeah, they look pretty good. They do are from the same line. Otherwise, more recently, stu more recent stuff, we do have Hoist right here from Earthrise. So, yeah, transformation now. Like I said, transformation is very intricate, but uh, pretty good. I, I really like it. So, remove the gun first. Next up, you move the arms up like this, up like this, and you bring them down like this. Down like this. So, just the uh, joints right here, like this. Take the backpack and open it up. This, uh, this is the tail uh, rotation, like this. Uh, the tail thing has a hook right here that will hook onto the backpack and holds everything so yeah Unhook it rotate the tail bring it down uh, Lift the backpack like this it's sort of a uh, double joints and you want to bring it up So I'm gonna do it on the camera, but do it up and whoops about that point like this you leave it there it's Sort of like uh, looks like this but that's how it goes. Next up, you rotate the head all the way around, so you have the gray part on top, and you flip the head, and the head, the how the, the mouse head is all ratchety. Soft ratchet, but it's all ratchety, so it's kind of weird, but that's cool. And then you bring the backpack all the way like this, on top. Now, uh, take the arms, and you can see here, there's a, like the, the sort of line for the ball joint, will peg onto this. So bring it like this, and bring, the peg right here, plug it in, voila. Same thing on the other side, peg it in, voila. Bring the legs down just for clearance, bring the backpack here, close the uh, side panel here, so the, they are like this, close it in, like this. And on top right here, uh, the arms, make sure the holes, the, the, the under arms, under the forearms, there's some holes, they go upward, and they will peg right next to the tail, there's two pegs, so, peg it in like this. So now everything is secure. And you have like, <laughs> we do have girl walk. <laughs> I mean, it works, I guess. But uh, yeah, seriously, uh, bring the legs in. Uh, you can see here on each side of the thighs, 
there's a peg hole so you want to plug this one in here like this bring the knee down like this so bring it like this bring the leg in here and peg it in like this and comes the crazy part now you need to rotate the leg in and rotate this up like this so you have the knee joint right here so bring it down like this and then you push it up like this all you have to do now is rotate the feet accordingly and there you go we have rat trap all transformed and yeah you can move the feet there you go <laughs> And like I said, transformation is pretty intricate, but uh, it's uh, it's decent. I like it. Uh, it's original. Uh, the, the we do have some panel linings that really bothers me right here on the neck, the head. Uh, the, we still can see, you know, the the color of the the head. So it's not fully painted, but it's okay. I guess it's a legend figures. Uh, we do have the head showing back underneath syndrome. Uh, the fist showing in the back is not that bad. <laughs> oh yeah we have the peg right here uh, on the gun that we can clip on the back uh, on the side of the leg so it's, it's just you know by pressing on it you have to put some force on it but you have you, you just mess up the whole mole again so yeah goes like this pretty cool I like it uh, one thing and I don't really like is the leg they do move but they, the mold breaks so easy like there are some pegs right here but they don't peg anymore they're just like resting so this is just like preventing me from pushing the knee further up inside you know the mold so yeah it's not not that great but it works I guess like I said it's just a, uh, a legend size work what would they call it like uh, core class <laughs> core class Legend size. I'm still. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna use legend size because it's the universal name that we all we only used to. So yeah, uh, just gonna do a comparison with the other ones. And here we have transform elements uh, rat trap. So yeah, same size, but yeah, obviously this is third party, so of course it looks a bit better, more accurate, but it's still pretty cool for a uh, legend size. Asbury has done a pretty good job. I mean, it could have made it like more tune accurate as the show, like this one. Uh, this one, uh, it feels like they've made it more um, realistic, because I guess it looks like a real mouse, maybe? I don't know. I haven't seen a real mouse in a while. <laughs> yeah, uh, we have the Generation Classic right here. Again, much uh, size difference. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, we have the other one from uh, the line. So we have vertebrae right here. So, yeah, they are pretty much the same size. Pretty cool. Same uh, core or legend size. Yeah, legend size feels better to say than core size. <laughs> and I know it's not really the same line, but here we have Oist from Earthrise. So, yeah, decent enough. <laughs> so, yeah, core. Uh, not trap. I really, I really cannot uh, do it with the core thing. But yeah, a legend, legend size rat trap from the Kingdom line. Uh, the first uh, legend, uh, well, the first line of legends size figures, and it's pretty damn cool. I really like the transformation a lot. The figure itself as a rat, not so much of a big fan. Uh, it kind of looks weird, and I really hate those things. I mean. I understand for robot wise it's for uh, stabilization and make it a whole uh, standing up but this in rat mode looks horrible like it almost looks like boots so uh, you know kind of like uh, the uh, vertebrate one but these you know just looks like socks and boots I don't know I'm not a fan of it but yeah the robot mode looks amazing so I really love this so yeah, I highly recommend getting this one up. Uh, it's very, it's, it's a strong one of the line, I guess. Uh, the uh, of the legend size, really love this figure. So yeah, Ooh, we do have a peekaboo robot. In it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I uh, enjoy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment. You know the song, and uh, I got still more. Uh, I still got uh, tons of uh, super intriguing. Uh, exclusive stuff coming up so don't you don't want to miss it <laughs> thank you for watching and I'll see you next time